All right, welcome back to our Tottenham career mode. So episode two of season three. In the first episode, we bought Donnarumma and Delict, solidifying our defense. I think those are two really good transfers. They're gonna help us this season. So we had two options, normal season three or sped up season three. It seems like you guys were kind of split in the comments. So what we're gonna do for this season is be somewhere in the middle. I don't think it's gonna be as long as season one and two, but it's not gonna be as short as I made it sound. As of now, I mean, it depends on how this season goes too. But as of now, we're gonna be somewhere in the middle of this season. So that is the plan for now. And I appreciate all the likes on episode one. I would appreciate it if you are excited for season three to drop another like down below. Helps out the channel a lot, helps bring new viewers to the channel. But enough of that, let's get this episode truly started. So you guys suggested a few players and I've also added a few of mine as well to this short list. So David Alaba was suggested, but he's a little too old. 30 years old and 42 million we have to spend on him. I don't think I wanna spend that much on a 30 year old. Militao and Tapsoba are both recently moved, so we can't sign them in this window. They were also suggested. Sula would be a good option, but he is pretty expensive. We don't really have the money for that for a third choice center back. Same with Ndidi. We don't have the money for that, even though he would be nice to turn into a center back. We just don't really have the funds for that. We were thinking about Marcus Edwards, and he also has moved to Leicester City, so we can't sign him in this window either. And then Dembele was suggested multiple times in the comments, but once again, he's a little bit too expensive out of our price range. So realistic center back options look like Pau Torres would not be bad. He's 2581 currently at Aston Villa. Klosterman pretty much in the same boat, 83, 26 years old. Still could get Kimpembe, even though he might be a little bit on more on the expensive side. So I think we need to sell some more players because that might open up some funds for us to actually go out and sign a pretty good center back. So we're going to hold off on making a signing for now. Hopefully we can get some offers in because currently we only have 48 million. So we need a bit more. Then we can maybe pick up a very decent center back. All right. So we're at August 28th. We've seen about like a week and a half maybe. And we still have not got any offers in for any of our players. That is one thing I have noticed about career mode this year. I don't get a lot of offers for players that I've transfer listed. That is one thing I've noticed. Maybe we can offer a player swap for one of these guys. Maybe that is something we should think about doing. I don't really know who to go for though. We might wait until after this Arsenal game. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play this Arsenal game and then transfer deadline day is after that. We can maybe sell someone and get a little bit more money or we can try and add some swap deals into those center back deals. Also, someone had a very good idea in the comments to make Lo Celso a right winger. It was a very good idea. I actually like that a lot. But there is just one problem with that is that it'll take Lo Celso about... 366 weeks to turn into a right winger. That makes no sense. His stats look like they're pretty good for a right winger. It should be sooner than that. So that is unfortunate, but I'm still even thinking about playing him there or at least trying him there because I feel like he would do a pretty good job at right wing. You know what? We might try it against Arsenal. All right, so we are going to try that in this game. We're going to try Lo Celso out at right wing. He's still plus one, so he doesn't take a big hit playing right wing. So we'll see how he does playing there. Arsenal looks like they have Osman him. Is that how you say his name? Osman him from uh, Napoli. He's a very good striker. So they've made a few signings. They have struggled in this career mode a lot. I don't think I've seen them below like sixth or seventh. So North London Derby at home. Let's see if we can yet again beat Arsenal. All right. So we've had a pretty good history against Arsenal, beating them quite a number of times. I think I have competitor mode off in this game because I just played my my player. And I turned competitor mode off for that series. So I think it's off in this game. We'll see if we notice a big difference. Well, let's see what we can do against Arsenal. Let's see how Lacelso does at right wing. Great steal by Delict. Get that into Delhi. Dombele, this would have been a good start. That looks like it was a pen, but ref does not give us it. That looked very questionable. I don't know about that one. That looked like a penalty. Even with their signings, I don't think Arsenal can match us once again. We just look like the much better team. Reguillon gets that into Kane. That was a decent idea. All right, Mukiele play that into Kane. Lo Celso. What can Lo Celso do on this wing? That was... What was that? I don't know what that was. Lo Celso is going to go for a shot and he puts that in. What kind of sequence was that? All right, Lo Celso showing that he can score a goal from right wing. He has that good left foot on him. I do like having right wingers that can cut in, and that is what Bergwijn cannot do. I don't know what that was, but this is a great finish from Lo Celso into the corner. All right, that was very good from Lo Celso. 
That is one thing Bergwijn cannot do. Is he has five star weak foot, but he's right footed. There's something about having a right winger for me that is left footed that can cut in like that. That was a great goal from Lo Celso. All right, so competitor mode is definitely off, I can tell, but they're still playing weird. And get that to Lo Celso, Kane. Get that to Ndombele. Sun could have been in there. That was a weird angle to take, but we're going to get this to Region. What can we cross with this? Get that into Delhi. Lo Celso, not again. Oh, we hit the... We like the stanchion in the back. That would have been insane for Lo Celso to score two goals. He does have five-star weak foot, so his right foot is not that bad either. All right, defense is a little misorganized right now. Ball is out to Maitland Niles and to James Madison. Good tackle by Kimmich. Dombele is making a decent run into space. Going to get that to Kane. Deli into Sun. Don't know what that tackle was. Sun goes for the shot, and that is 2-0. Arsenal are just, they're just not good enough to match us. They are not good enough. I definitely tell the difference with competitor mode off. I think it's a lot easier for some reason. This is on ultimate with our sliders, and it just feels kind of, it feels too easy. Good finish by Sun. It's easy, plus our team is just insane. That is a big factor as well, but 2-0 at halftime. We're looking good versus Arsenal like we usually do. Oh, Kimmich just steals that. That is disgusting. Oh, we could have had a chance there, but ref blows the whistle. But all right, 2-0 up. See if we can grab some more in the second half. Get that to Sun. This could be a counterattack. Get that to Lo Celso. Going to bring this forward. Tierney covering. Good challenge by Tierney. Tierney is a decent left back. I don't know what Kimmich just tried to do there. He tried to just take out the guy with the ball. We block that, and they are going to get it out. All right, Madison coming forward with a decent amount of space. Goes for a shot. Good block by Skrinier. That was Arsenal's best chance in the game so far. Son in to Kane. Give that to Delhi. Kane go on a run. Beautiful, beautiful. Their center backs just left Kane, though. That should not have gotten through that easily. It's a good save by Leno in the end. Should be 3-0. All right, 10 minutes left. Arsenal are coming forward. Our lead looks pretty safe, especially if we can get this ball away. Good tackle by Kimmich. That is so good. Five minutes left. We might have a chance here to seal it. That was not the best ball, but Sun wins that back. Can we try and get it back into him? Yes, we can. Gets around one. Sun with the shot. Human Sun puts that in for his second of this game, I believe. And that is going to seal it for Spurs. Once again in the North London Derby, we are going to get all three points. So again, Arsenal are just not good enough. Son, that is beautiful dribbling, and that is a great finish. All right, Hoybeer, Bale, and Mbabu are on for this last two minutes, but this game is pretty much settled at this point. All right, and that is full-time 3-0 against Arsenal. That was a pretty easy win for us. They only had, like, one chance, pretty much. Once again, we take down Arsenal pretty easily. So, Lasso had a pretty good game at right wing. And he says, I know people have been talking about the position you're playing me in. I just wanted to say I'm ready to do whatever is necessary to make us successful. I'm happy to play as a right winger if that's part of your plan. You can be even better. You will, you'll, you'll do for me. You'll do for me. Who would say that? We're going to say that, though. Very pleased with his attitude. But all right, it's time for transfer deadline day. We'll see if we get any offers in. Otherwise, we'll have to try and make a deal to get a center back. All right, so Liverpool have come in for Toby. And I am completely blanking on this. But you guys in the comments wanted me to not sell Toby. I don't know why I did not remember that. Well, I'm remembering it now, so we're not going to sell Toby. Completely forgot to take him off the transfer list. And with that, he can pretty much serve as our center back third choice. The only bad thing is his sprint speed isn't quite that good it's gone down considerably but he's honestly not that bad still you guys said that in real life he said he wanted to retire as a spur so that is what we're going to do in this series but that means we have delict scrinier toby and tanganga so we do do we even really need a center back i completely just blanked on that so let's say that we did not buy a new center back what other position that would we need on transfer deadline day um honestly i don't feel like we need that much donnarumma and delict were so good we can still possibly try and get a center back, and then Tanganga could be fifth choice. All right, let's take another look at our shortlist. So if we're not selling Toby, do we need a guy like Torres, Klosterman? Do we need them? That is a question. Obviously, they're younger, and they could possibly outgrow him. But is that something that we need currently right now? 
I kind of don't think we need that anymore. Kind of don't think we need a center back. So if we did not buy a center back, then what should we spend our money on? Or should we just save it? That is also a very plausible thing that we can do. I would like Dembele. He is just 113 to 162 million. That is way too expensive. I mean, could go after De La Vega, but would he really help the team currently? Not much. I'm going to sim to deadline day, see if any offers come in, and we will pretty much just take it from there. All right, five hours in, no offers. This is kind of what I was talking about. It's very hard to sell players in this game for some reason for me. So in this window, we've spent 253 million on two players. That is kind of crazy. So what do we need with this money? By the way, Delict is already 88. Just noticed that. So he's already 88. Mukiele is up to 86. Don't know if that was in this episode or the last one, but players are growing at a alarming rate. All right, so Onana was, we got an offer from Ajax for him, but it fell through somehow and I didn't see it. So he's still on the team. I'm thinking, what if we offer Onana just for Klosterman straight up? What do they say about that? See what they say. They do not want Onana. Um, we could try Loris maybe. Try Loris and then how about Loris and just straight up 20 million. Try that, see what they say. They do not want Loris either. I don't think there's many other players that I want to sell um yeah there's not many other players that i want to do in a swap deal i mean i could try troy parrot just just for scientific purposes about 35 million plus troy probably gonna reject that as well and they need some time to think about it so they're probably gonna reject that i don't i don't see them accepting that like maybe do the same for pal torres offer onana see what they say to that but if they don't accept it that might be it for us on deadline day all right, they did not accept that either. Did not want Onana. See, this one makes it tough. When I can't sell players, I can't really generate funds. All right, so I think what we're going to do, we are not going to make any more transfers. So we have 48 million. I don't think we're going to get an offer in in this last five hours. See what this email says. And no, they just want 57 million for Klosterman, which I don't think we should pay that much. So we're not going to make any more transfers. We're going to try to sell Onana and maybe a few other players before January. And then when January comes around, we can make actually a pretty good signing. I think that is what we're going to do. It's just very hard when we're not getting transfer offers for players that we want to sell. And I don't think we actually need to splash the cash for anyone right now. This team is so good. Our bench is so good. We don't really need any position real desperately, especially now that LaCelso can play right wing. I know that he can. He will be a pretty good backup right winger. So I don't think we need much. We just need to sell some players and the game is not letting us. So I think this is the smartest thing to do. We spent 250 million. So it's not like we didn't buy anyone and I don't really want to buy someone just to not play them. So that is what we're going to do. Transfer deadline day is over. Well, let's see what the biggest moves were in this window. So of course we were the biggest two deals did licked and Donnarumma Martial to Man City from PSG. Um, Marco Verratti to Bayern Munich, Wendell to Barcelona, Grimaldo to Chelsea, Romagnoli to Real Madrid, Cardi to Dortmund, Chilwell to Barcelona, Sandro Tonali to Hertha Berlin. Seems like a step down. Ziyech to Real Madrid. Interesting, interesting. Christian Eriksen to Atletico Madrid. That is also pretty interesting. Aguero to Barcelona. Dembele to Inter, Reese James to Valencia. All right, there are some interesting moves. Isco to Lyon. Man United bought Mueller. Ake to Bayern. Naby to PSG. Tammy to Sevilla. A lot of very weird transfers. But that is going to be it for the transfer window. All right, next game is in the Premier League against Nottingham Forest. Putting out a semi-rotated team. A few changes, but we're going to quick sim this game. We should get the win against Nottingham Forest. And it's a 2-1 win. Kane and Kimmich scoring. And that is another three points in the Premier League. All right, so Champions League begins. This is our group. Napoli, Lyon, and I forgot how to say their name. I know they're from Turkey, but this is the main focus of this season three, the Champions League. We were eliminated in the semis last season, so... So we need to have a good start to the Champions League group stage. We cannot be like last season. We barely got through in second in the group last season, so I want a strong group performance this season and that starts with a win in this game going full strength normal first team let's see if we can start the champions league off right Fenerbahce I knew something like that I was close I was a little bit close but let's see what we can do in this first game of the group stage like I said we need to start off strong cannot put ourselves in a spot like we did last season 
Also, competitor mode is back on for this game. I think it does make the game a little bit tougher. Definitely with competitor mode off, it felt a lot easier. So we've turned it back on. See what we can do in this. That is a decent ball to Kane. Oh, that would have been such a good goal. The decent ball from Reggion, and then that is a decent header. It's just off target. Would have been a great start. Get that to Indombele. Kane, good touch. Get that to Delhi. Bergwine. Try and cross that in to someone that is cleared out. Gonna get that straight back in. Kane goes for a shot and Kane puts that in. That looks so slow. I thought that was going wide, but Kane puts that in for a perfect start to this Champions League group stage. I thought this was completely off. It was so slow, but that is in the corner from Harry Kane. All right, 1-0. That is the start that we wanted. That is a good ball through. This is sort of dangerous, but Donnarumma makes a good save. He's going to be 90 rated soon as well. The growth out of this team is just insane. He should punch that out, and he does. Now we can take this with Sun and just turn on the Jets. Just go forward. I see Kane. You get that to Bergwine. That is a beautiful ball. Bergwine's going to go for an early shot. That is deflected. Back into the middle. This is a decent little spell for Fenerbahce. Now... Scrinier makes a challenge, and we get this ball out. Good ball. Good ball. Oh, and Domble, make that run, and you're in. Sun makes it. Sun makes it, and Hume Main Sun puts that in again. This guy is on fire in this episode, and that is 2-0 for us. This looks like it's going to be that good start that we're looking for. It's just a really good finish from Sun. Very much like his one goal against Arsenal. 43rd minute, 2-0 up. All right, second half begins. Let's try and keep it up. Get that to Ndombele. Kane, if we time it right, you could be in. I think we timed it right. Harry Kane with a shot. Keeper makes a decent save. We're going to cross this corner in. Kane is up for it. That goes back out to Sun. Some room here to try and curl this from Sun. That was a little bit too much power. Kane is in a lot of space. Mukiele plays that in. In to Bergwijn for three. Keeper makes another good save. We're going to cross this in again for Kane. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. And Kane puts that in for 3 nil. We are playing very good in this game. With 3 nil up, 60th minute, we are looking pretty good. That is a good ball in the middle. Trying to defend this. Oh, I just let him through. The lick is too strong for that. He is so good. Him and Skriniar are so good. And now we can just counterattack Kane. This should be 4-0. Oh, I timed that so bad. I timed that absolutely terrible. Should be 4-0. All right, Bale, Vinicius, and Lo Celso are on for this last part of the game. This game has looked pretty comfortable for us. They've not threatened too much as Lo Celso steals that, and we can break. Vinicius, get that to Sun. And try and play this forward. Vinicius, you're in a decent amount of space. Cross that in to Vinicius on the volley. That is 4-0 and game over for Spurs. It was a pretty nice volley from Vinicius. Keeper has absolutely no chance. 4-0, all three points. Good start to this Champions League. All right, and that is game over confirmed. 4-0, that was a convincing win. Once again, a great start to the Champions League for us. All right, next game is against Southampton in the Premier League. We're going to quick sim this one. LaCelso, Camavinga come in, and Babu and Aarons. Let's see what we can do in this game. And it's another 2-0 win. Sun and Bergwijn scoring. And yet again, we win another game. All right, so Liverpool in the AFL Cup. We won this competition last season. I'm not too fussed if we lose it. So putting out a rotated team, Lojek, Lucas, Toby, Tenganga, Camavinga, Hoybier, Zaniolo. And also Frank, our new... Uh, youth German goalkeeper is playing this game as well. So I'm kind of expecting a loss here because Liverpool are fielding their first team and it is a 2-0 loss to Liverpool, Mane and Trent scoring. Pretty much expected, but not too bothered by it. For some reason, Liverpool put out a first team in cup games. For some reason, that's what they do. So we're out at the AFL Cup, but that is not a big deal. Pretty much the focus for this season is Premier League and Champions League. All right, so Real Betis come in for Hugo Lloris. So I'm going to see if we can maybe squeeze a little bit more out of them. And we'll see if they accept it. 
All right, so they accept 31 million for Hugo Lloris. We'll see if he accepts that move. And then if he does, he will leave in January. Kind of sad to see him leave if he does, but that is just how football is sometimes. All right, this Newcastle game is gonna be the last one of this episode. I think we're gonna field a, another semi-rotated team. All right, so Lacelso coming in at right wing, Hoybeer playing at CDM, and then Mbabu coming in at left back. So last game of this episode, I think we have not lost a game in the Premier League. So we will see if we can keep that up against Newcastle. All right, so in terms of our next plans for career mode, the thing is next gen comes out in about a week and a half, something around that. So it wouldn't make much sense to start a whole new career mode because we'd only have a week and a half to try and finish it. So. With that in mind, I think we're just going to stick it out with Spurs. Going to do this season three. Going to also upload our My Player Career Mode series. And then when Next Gen comes out, I should have a Next Gen console. And we should go ahead and start that. That was a decent shot, but that is blocked. So December 4th, we should move over to Next Gen. Start a brand new series with a brand new team. So I am excited for that. So that is a pretty much the plan. Let's see if we can win this game against Newcastle. Though we should win this. We are a much better team. Play that into Sun. Sun cuts in. Again, Sun scores. This guy is on fire. He's scored in every single game we played. Sun is just on fire. This man is doing it all this episode. He's assisted. He's scored. I think that might be his fourth or fifth goal in this episode. Another great finish from Sun, and we are 1-0 up early on in this game. All right, they have a free kick here at a dangerous spot. See if they decide to try and put that in. That is over the wall and into the top left corner. Newcastle have equalized. That was a very, very good free kick. I have to see that one again. Wall is late to jumping. That might be my fault, but that is in the top left corner. And it is 1-1. That lead to Ndombele. Ndombele coming forward. That was a weak shot straight at the keeper. Going to aim for Kane like we usually do. Not the best corner. Ellie plays that to Kane, plays that to Sun, the man in form, gets a lot of space, no way, no way he just put that in. All right, Sun is having a very, very good start to season three. What a shot this is, just cuts in, nobody, nobody marks him, and then he just curls that into the top right corner. What a shot from Sun, he's 92 rated now. That was absolutely beautiful as we take a 2-1 lead. Get that to Deli Alley. Sun already on a hat trick. We'll see if we can get him that hat trick. That is into Ndombele. Into Deli. That is back to Ndombele. Cuts in a little bit. I tried to shoot. Sun steals that though. This guy is doing everything in this episode. That is to Kane. That is to Sun. That is to Sun. Oh, it was on the hat trick. He was on it. We're going to cross this in. Kane might get to that, and he does. And that's 3 1 right on halftime. Man, this team is just so good. It's almost unfair. It's a little bit unfair for the other teams. Our attack is just so deadly. Everyone's at least 90, I think. And then our backup players Lucas, left wing, is 85, almost 86. Lacelso, 89, at right wing. This team is just insane. 3 1 up at halftime. All right, we win the ball back. Now we could go on a counterattack. They have a lot of numbers pushed forward. Sun into Ndombele. This could be number four. We're going to get very, very sweaty for this one as Deli Alley puts that in 4-4-1. Four, four, Not going to even watch the replay for that one. 4-1, 62nd minute. This might be another three points for us in the Premier League. We are just on a tear to start this season. Don't think we've lost a game. Boy, Beer can bring this forward. They're just so pushed forward. You score a few goals and the CPU just absolutely sends everything forward. Kane, if we can get sweaty for this to give Sun the hat trick, we will. We will somehow. That still worked. What is Newcastle's defense doing? Sun gets his hat trick, though. Sun is still able to put that in for his hat trick. Eight goals for Sun in the Premier League already this season. He has had a great start. And the scoreline is 5-1. They really need to make ultimate harder. They really do. It's just way too easy. We're on ultimate with competitor mode on. Using sliders too as well. And it's just still way too easy. I think our team is our team is pretty OP though. Oh, what is that? That should not be happening. 
Doesn't matter what team you are, that should not be happening. And that is 6-1-2 Tottenham. Like our team is insanely good, so OP, but this, the CPU does stuff that they really should not do, especially on the highest difficulty. FIFA 20, if I had this same team in FIFA 20 on Ultimate, I would not be winning this easily. Ultimate on FIFA 20 was like insane, but in this game, it's the opposite. Ultimate is too easy. It should be, Ultimate should be insanely hard because it's the, it's the last difficulty. There's nowhere to go up from here, so it should be absolute hardest, but it's just not. Hopefully for next gen, they can possibly fix that and make it tougher. Hopefully the game is different enough where we have, it's like a learning curve again. So I feel like no matter what we do, the game is just, at some point, it's like, it's like CPU programming. It's just very, very weird. That could have been six or seven, actually. I'm losing track of how many goals we've scored. But yeah, this game is, I think it'll be a three points, six one up. I think that is into Delhi, to Kane. See if we can get a little one-two going. That ball is gonna go out to Mbabu. And try and cross this in. That doesn't go out for a corner. We are gonna cross this in. Kane, we could possibly get one more, but nope, the ref blows the whistle. 6-1 to Spurs. That is a demolition of Newcastle. Son with the hat trick. We are just on fire to start this season. All right, this is where we're going to end today's episode. The next one, we'll start off with a big Champions League game against Napoli, and then more Premier League action, and then Lyon in the Champions League as well. So, good start to the Champions League, and also, we continue our good start in the Premier League. Seven wins out of seven, 21 points. Five points ahead of Liverpool already in the season. So, we are looking pretty darn good. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to drop a like on the video. I would appreciate it. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you all have a great day.